In their next game against Morocco, Cristiano's fine form continues as he scores the decisive goal in a promising performance. This time. In by Moutinho and in by Ronaldo! He is a sensation! He would be his 85th goal in the international uh, scene. He would pass Ferenc Puskas, and so he then became the highest goal scorer in Europe in international football and the second overall in the world. Against IR Iran, a Quaresma wonder goal puts Portugal ahead. Was Cristiano's World Cup luck turning at last? This will give Portugal breathing space. Ronaldo is denied and the game and the group are still very much alive. Cristiano's missed penalty ultimately costs Portugal the top spot in their group, which means they'll face Uruguay in the round of 16, a formidable opponent. Round of 16, they run into Uruguay, which is a tough matchup because their defense is geared, it's very physical, really caused uh, problems for Cristiano Ronaldo. Wall was able to deal with the considerable threat, not his finest hour from a free kick. Suarez over on that far side, and it's pinpoint. Oh, dangerous cross, Cavani! It's them again! Unfortunately for Portugal, they really only got going in the second half when they were really backs against the wall. Adrian Silva's shot, the deflection for a corner. Pepe has done it! Well, there's the answer they were looking for! But they really didn't do themselves justice and I think Uruguay were deserved winners at the end. Two brilliant goals, you have to say. Fernandez, four on three for a moment here. Cavani, brilliant! That is pure gold! For the fourth time in his career, Cristiano Ronaldo is knocked out of the World Cup. It's all over! And maybe it is the end in terms of World Cups for the great Cristiano Ronaldo. In that World Cup, he showed one last time, if it is the last time, that he is such a prolific goal scorer that is legendary. I think 2018 in a way sums up Ronaldo's international career, which is exceptionally talented, a player for the big occasion, but just part of a team that bar France in 2016 has never been good enough to, to win one of the major honours. We don't know if that will be his last World Cup. I don't think it will be. I think there's a very good chance that we could see him at Qatar 2022, he'll be 37 years old. By the time that World Cup rolls around, Ronaldo will not be Portugal's sole attacking threat. So you could argue that the stage is perfectly set for him to really thrive in this World Cup as part of an exciting attacking team, as the, the elder statesman, and perhaps put those former World Cups where he didn't perhaps do himself justice, you know, put that to rights.